So hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. Uh, guys, this is one of the top interview questions in lead code and it is the part of medium level questions. And today we are going to solve it right here in this video. And uh, guys, if you like my content and you want to support me, then please, 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 I request you to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for further notifications. If you like this video, plus do not forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends as well. And in the end, guys, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback for my content, please put them in the comment section below. I would be happy to address them as soon as I can. Now, without delaying this video any further, let's get started. So, uh, guys, first of all, let's read the problem statement. And the problem statement is really straightforward, guys. We are given a m cross n matrix, and we have to modify the matrix in such a way that if there is any cell having zero value, then we have to set that entire row and that entire column as zero, and we must uh, modify the matrix in place. So you must do it in place. So in this case, you can see, guys, that this two comma two value or the middle value of the zero uh, of the matrix is zero. So that's why the entire middle row and the entire middle column is set as zero. There is a similar example here also, guys. And let's read the constraints. The constraints are basically that both the row and column are from one to two hundred, and the value of the matrix is minus two to the power thirty one to two to the power thirty one minus one, which is basically the range of an integer. And there is going to be at least one row. Uh, definitely because both m and n are from 1 to 200, right? Uh, there is some follow-up here written, guys. I'll not go through that, uh, but I will just explain you using the solution how we are going to approach it. So let's jump on to the solution part. So the first solution we are going to use in this case, guys, is going to be a m plus n space solution in which we are going to use an extra set of data structure to store the rows and columns for which we have to set the value as zero. So let's start with the solution guys. Uh, first of all, let's create two variables m and n in which we are going to store the number of rows and the number of columns. So m is equals to matrix dot length and n is equals to matrix zero dot length, which is basically the number of columns. Now I will just instantiate two hash sets here. So one is going to be a hash set called as rows and another is going to be the same hash, similar hash set uh, which is called as columns or calls. Okay. Now we are just going to iterate through our entire matrix. So i0 to i less than n, i plus plus and for integer j equals to 0 to j less than n, j plus plus. And now simply check if matrix i j is equal equals to 0. If the cell value is 0, simply add the uh, i uh, row to our rows, ha uh, rows hash set and the j -th column to our calls hash set. And now that's how we will complete our rows and columns hash set and why we are using hash set guys because we can encounter the same row and the same column again but we do not want to add it again into our data structure now simply iterate through the entire uh, rows and columns of these hash sets and one by one make all the rows in that particular row and all the columns in that particular column as zero so for integer i equals to zero to i less than n i plus plus simply set the matrix row and the ith column as zero okay and do the same thing again for all the columns as well so call calls and zero to i less than n and matrix of i and call should be set as zero so i hope this code runs guys let's try it out and you can see guys that this code pretty much runs uh, without any error let's submit this code and 
let's see what happens in the submission and you can see guys that the submission is also accepted but this is not an ideal solution guys because uh, it is definitely a improvement of a simple brute force solution which will take like m cross n of space so here we are only taking m plus n space but this is not the best solution the best solution could be in which we are not using any uh, of this uh, hash set data structure to store the extra rows and just directly modify the matrix okay uh, so let's go to that solution guys which will be our order of one space solution or i would say like no extra space solution uh, again i'm going to uh, use both to denote the number of rows and columns and i will again create uh, not again but uh, i will also create a is call value a boolean value which will be set as false so this is call value is going to indicate if uh, the column which we are going to set as zero is it the first column of our matrix or not so for example if this is a corner first column okay so initially we will set this value as false and now we will go through our matrix so traversing the matrix from zero to i less than m i plus plus and for integer j equals to zero to j less than n and g plus plus now we will simply check if the matrix i j value is equal equals to zero so if the cell is zero we will check if the column is the first column of not so if the column is the first column then simply set this is call value as true because if if uh, by any chance the first row or the first column that means if this first column is set as zero or if the first row and first column that is 0 comma 0 is set as 0 we will not touch that we will keep it as it is and uh, you know we will deal with that after this but in this case if the first column is not 0 that means uh, if this i comma j uh, cell is not the first cell or the first column cell of our matrix in that case we will go to this else part and what we will do for that particular row and for that particular column we will set their first value as 0 so for that particular row that means if we keep the i as constant and uh, we will set the first column of that row as 0 and similarly for that particular column we will set the first row cell of that column as 0 and after this we will start iterating only the rows and columns starting from 1 because now we have already set the first row and the first column as 0 okay so now i'll just copy this uh, double loop here let's come here and now i will instead of starting from 0 i will start the loop from 1 and now we already know that our first row or the first column is set to zero if any of the cell in that particular row or in that particular column was zero so if matrix of i zero that means if either the first column of that particular row is zero or its matrix of zero j is equal equals to 0 that means if the first row of that particular column is set as 0 in that case we will simply set the matrix i and j as 0 which means setting the entire row and the entire column of that particular uh, of that particular cell as 0 okay and after this for loop is completed guys we will only be left with a few uh, small edge case the edge case will be now we have set uh, you know i uh, uh, you know rows starting from one all these rows are now set and uh, now what we will left with is the first row this this particular row because now because if the first column was zero we didn't set anything if the first row was zero we didn't set anything here so that's how this particular row is set is uh, now left 
but other than that we have now set zeros in this uh, column we have set zeros in this column based upon the condition that the first row first column was set as zero and in this case again the last column but the first row is set as zero so now it's the time to check if my first cell was zero or not so if the first cell was zero this becomes a special case in that case we will again uh, start a loop from we'll just set the entire row entire first row as zero so j zero to j less than n j plus plus and just set the entire first row as uh, you know zero so zero j becomes equals to zero and now we will also check if the is call value is true or not so that means if we ever encountered the first column and uh, for that particular first column the entire uh, value we have to set as zeros so in that case just check if is call equal equals to true if is call is equals to true just run the loop for the entire row here so i zero to i less than uh, i less than m i plus plus and just set the entire row as zero so which means the matrix uh, I and matrix and the column zero as zero. Now let's run this code, guys, and let's see if this works. And there are no compilation errors, and no, there are no compilation errors. Let's submit this code, guys, and uh, I hope the submission is successful. And it is, and let's see the details. The submission details are pretty promising guys, the runtime and the memory distribution both are pretty fine. I do agree that this solution is a little, little bit difficult to understand because of a lot of mass involved in it. The previous solution was definitely much better or easier to understand. So what you can do in your interviews guys, you can come up with an entirely M cross N brute force solution. You can try to improve it with the help of hash set. But if you are good in mathematics and you know about, you know, these uh, uh, metrics uh, operations and how to set the rows and columns, then you can come up with this optimized solution as well. Of course, it comes with a little bit of practice. So I hope guys, you guys got a little bit better in your coding practice. And if you like this video, please do hit the like button and share it with your friends as well. And uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel guys, hit the bell icon for all my future videos. I post a video every day from Monday to Friday, unless I'm busy or I have some other work to do. I try to keep a very constant uh, schedule. And uh, yes guys, that was the video. If you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, questions for me, please put them in the comment section below. I would be happy to address them as soon as I can. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.